Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Tommy here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. There's another Waldo outside, and I just wanted to clear one thing up. If you download the world download, you will actually start here. Oh, is that a pillager over there? That is a pillager. Is there another patrol? Well, that guy's gone. But today... No, oh, missed a slab right there. Shucks. Let me go. Let me go. There's Waldo over there. Uh, or not Waldo. Uh, Pablo. Whatever I call that guy, I don't remember. It slipped my mind. I think I called him Pablo. Alright, let's go up here. And... Fix the stone slab. Let's see, is this the same one? No, this is a different guy. He's got glowstone. Trades are garbage. And get those things on my own. Huh? Yeah, you heard me right, punk. Um Let's see, I'll take care of that later. Um, what are we doing today? Oh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be making a compass and a map. Uh, so let's go down, I said. I'm gonna fix that momentarily. Put that back. Put this trap door. I ache that. There we go. Wait, but I need to, need to go down here. I need to go up here. Because this is where all my goodies are stored. Up here in my bedroom. We need... We need 8 bits of... Oh, I could have used this not full stack, but it's okay. 8 bits of iron, 2 bits of redstone, and... Uh, our sugar cane. So I'm gonna be showing you first how to make a compass. A compass is crafted like this. You take four iron and put one piece of redstone in the middle and you get a compass. And a compass will work in your offhand. I think. I do believe a compass yeah, compass is working in your offhand. And um it'll actually a compass also works if you don't craft it like so that's the way if you wanted to cheap out you could oh, well I didn't actually need to do that because I'm gonna be making two compasses and one compass I'm actually gonna be using to make a map so the way you make a map is you wanna make paper let's make I guess nine paper will have to do and you wanna surround the said compass with paper and you get a map. Now, if you're wondering, if you're wondering what a compass does, you hold it in your hand, and you want to let the arrow straighten out. Let's see here. And you want to travel in the direction of the arrow. And it will lead you. right back to your spawn point excuse me mr. cave I have to go around that but this will lead you oh I think this is it I think I spawned in right here, so I'm gonna mark that. Yeah, this is where I spawned in because, as you can see, it's hypersensitive on this block. So I believe that is where I spawned in. I'll actually have to go back and watch the footage. Mm, 
okay, I'm gonna head home. Um, all right, but yeah, that is where I spawned in. This is my farms. Uh, there's the pond that we squared off last episode. The wandering trader has moved that way a bit. Um, head on in. Alright. Close that. And we will take a quick snooze. And we'll wake up and eat some salmon for breakfast. Salmon and toast. It's actually a really good breakfast. You'll probably eat it at some point if you come to the Houston area. Salmon and toast. We cook a lot of that around here. Or at least my family cooks a lot of that. Might not be a Texas dish, but people in Texas love it. So, if you right click on your map, you will notice that. Oh boy, my island is hardly in this. Well, no, it's somewhat in this. But as you can see, it's going to populate the map. And um, this might be a good episode to get. Is it a loom? not sure as you can see we can follow this and it will take us on the um, is that the beehive I'm hearing or is that I can't tell if I'm hearing slimes or bees I think this is just the beehive yeah, that's just a beehive. It sounded like a slime for a second. I thought I was on top of a slime chunk, and then we were going to have our own party. Um, if we head off this way, you can see that the map shows this. Uh, but eventually, we'll actually be outside of the range of our map. There's our beacon from earlier. Beacon of hope. Let's see, can we climb this? We cannot. Ooh, yeah, we can. We can get up. There we go. We are now atop this mighty hill, and we are now somewhat off the map. As you can see, it just takes us to the ocean over here. We're just on a giant island, pretty much, but we're going to leave the island probably in the next episode, and we're actually going to find a rather interesting structure. Now, if, I do want to clarify one thing. If you download episode 15, I'm not sure if I said this or not. Ow. I have memory of really bad. Um, if you download uh, the last episode, you're going to start in the same place I started with the same stuff I started with, so you'll have the boat. I actually did some off-camera exploration. So. Yeah. Now, we're almost at level 30. So that's maps and compasses done. Um, I didn't really plan on doing anything else this episode. Let's go ahead and look at it, what it costs to make a loom, I want to say is what it is. Oh, no, it's not a loom, it's a cartography table. What does that cost? Oh, I just need one more piece of paper. Darn it, darn it, because now I'm going to have seven pieces of paper left over. Or, no, not seven, um. Gonna have two pieces of paper left over. Alrighty. Cartography table. Well, I'm actually gonna use this for something. Um, let's actually go ahead and let's put this over here. No, no, I don't like this. Well, I like the crafting table right there. What on, well, what, oh, what should we do with, the, oh, we can put this around the corner. I do like the looks of that, actually. Um, we're going to put this map in here, plus paper, I want to say, and that's going to expand the map's area. So as you can see now that there's like a little circle formed, 
and we can head off and now we are centralized in our map yay we can see if we head off in uh, this direction we're gonna head towards the farm and you can see we're on top of that square pond um, and now we're at a cow farm now we're at this farm Sun was setting. Um, what's another thing that we can do this episode? You know what? Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not gonna make myself dedicate an episode to this. So let's start up a potato farm. Um. So, as you remember at some point, a zombie dropped a potato. Now, we can actually eat a potato raw. I'm not going to, but you can see. Oh, I took a nice bite of that potato. Mmm, potatoes are going to taste good. But uh, you can actually bake potatoes, and it's going to be about as good as eating a meat source. Here we go. Right here. It's going to be about as good as eating a meat source. Maybe not as good, but be around that. Here, this is my hoe. Whoa, 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 whoa! That came, that came out a little bit wrong. Is there another pillager out here? Oh my God! It's another raid party. It's another patrol. Y'all are just making stuff up in your head. I didn't, I didn't go, I didn't switch it to peaceful. What? Just so I wouldn't have to deal with the raid party. Wasn't me. I think y'all got the wrong guy. Uh, that was the other guy. Uh, bootleg Tommy. Bomby. Yeah, that's who did it. Okay. Well. Wait, no, I don't want to do it like this. Um. We're gonna do that. Huh? I did kill the other one later, so it can't be the other guy. It can't be the other pop one. Alright. Let's see. Walkway. Oh, wait, no. We're gonna do walkways on. Either side, and then the we'll walkway down the middle. And I get a chance to look at it from the side and determine the middle. Cottage and grab my stinking bucket. Grr. I'm angry, angry survivor. I say, I'm trying to teach people how to survive, not how to go grab a bucket out of their house. But potatoes are going to be more steady of a food source, and we are going to kill our cows, some of our some of our cows again soon. In fact, I'll probably do that between episodes and just let you know. Hey. Hey, let me grab a bucket of water. Uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack went down, broke his crown, and Jill came stumbling after. And then it should be, if I can put it right there, yeah, it's going to square off. Okay. I am going to run out of the box. So far. Now, if I stand over here and look at the pond. I think this is the middle. Yes, it is. Oh no, we have current flows now. There we go. Alright, 
Alrighty. Oh, and that fixed itself. Okay. There. Pretty cool stuff. Now I'm gonna. Gonna go grab my cobble. I'm still probably going to need more than that. Yeah, that should be good right there. Oh, darn, it's become night. That means I'm probably like 25 minutes in. I love this little bedroom. That's I was kind of like... Um, should I do it? Should I not? But then it turns out, because I felt like it would be way too small. It turns out I love it. It's nice. It's the, it's a little on the small side. I gotta say it's the perfect size. Well, no, it's pretty much the perfect size. I got a block to stand on. Bed. What more does a man need? I got some storage up there, too. I got a crafting table. Uh, In-room crafting. About as nice as it. Ooh, no, I don't want to do that. In room crafting's about as nice as it gets. And we're actually gonna wanna block that off right there. And we're gonna leave that. And block this off. Actually, I kind of would rather just have this, um... Hmm. Gotten to thinking. So that should square that off. Does perfectly. I think I'm gonna make these perfect square farms. I know this episode's probably going to get a little bit long, probably about 30 minutes or so. And I apologize for that, but there's only so much you can do with time. Um, the next episode's probably going to be a long one, too. But what can I say? What, what can I do? I'm not trying to cram so much into the episode, probably, but. farm needs to be done at some point or another. Now, if we look right there, oh, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's 
perfect. Alrighty, and then we're gonna. I know we kind of took away the pond feel of it, but you know, there's a lot of natural bodies of water around here, and I guess that other farm still sort of has the pond feel to it, so. Start the growth. The potatoes right there. And we're gonna fence it off. Uh, really pushing it right here. So really, really pushing it. But going as fast as I can. Uh, here, let me fast place. Just put your fence around the farm. Go back and get that. You should put your fence around the farm, guys. Um, oh no, darn! I'll have to come back next episode. I won't have time today. So yeah, I'm gonna finish that up off camera. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more. Subscribing's free, and it just helps me out. Hey, I gotta run, but I'll see you next time. Bye.